Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so I was just so immersed by your energy just then I almost forgot to press record on the video. Okay, so <clears throat> Aquarius, we are getting a message for you from Spirit using the postcards from Spirit. We're using Whispers of Healing Oracle cards and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, let's have a look at what Spirit has to say to you. One card for Aquarius, please. Spirit, and there it is. Hang on a minute. Okay, here we go. Here is your card, Aquarius. Dearest you, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. You will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary navigational system of your soul. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Yes, anyway. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings. Spirit infuses all things and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agreed to play. Today, trust Trust your spidey sense. Read between the lines. Tune in to the stories behind the stories and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we are right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. Awesome. Wow, I love that. I love that sentence. Your sixth sense is not your sixth sense, but the first. Yes, that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, Aquarius. Mm. I just wonder if some of you are really connecting in, you know, starting to awaken. Oh, I'm not awaken. Remember. Starting to remember. Okay, first card for Aquarius, please. First card for Aquarius. Thank you. Any more? I feel like I need to shuffle one more. See if anything else jumps out. I don't think it's going to. No. Okay, first card is nurture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nurture that that first sense right nurture your intuition begin to trust it really come inside and feel come out of your head Aquarius and into your heart into your solar plexus right and start to feel because I know for you Aquarius that your mind is um, very active and can take over okay this is a new way a new beginning of being for you I feel this is you transforming into the truth of who you are here right getting out of this mind stuff here because this is absolutely uh, quite intense for you especially now and I, I kind of wonder for you Aquarius that if because of the, the transformation happening and also the, the increasing energies in the world um, well, on the planet right now, I just wonder if your mind feels even more possessive of you than what it usually does. Um, it's, it's, it's as though it has more control. And, um, and, and the thing is that as you do tap in, to your intuition, your mind may 
ramp up the its its attention seeking ways. Um, attention seeking for your attention, not necessarily externally, although it could be, but more internally. Okay, and uh, yeah, it, it's a little bit like when you try to discipline a child and they 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 ramp up the behavior before just to test to test those boundaries to see if they can get away with things you know and whether you're really going to uphold the boundary that you've set um so yeah uh, i do want to say you know tap into this internal um knowing and nurture it in a loving and kind way and even your thoughts when they come up it doesn't mean you have to be nasty to them lovingly guide them in a different direction you know um, and be patient with yourself because it does take time get creative with it see what works see what doesn't you know use your thoughts direct your thoughts in a positive direction so if you know it helps your thoughts to be released by doing some sort of artwork or becoming creative you can do that you know channel them into something positive rather than letting them claw at you okay so it could be that your thoughts just need something to do in a sense you know um and and this may actually also help bring out your intuition you know <sighs> It's kind of in a way like tricking the thoughts into thinking that they're doing something when in fact what's what's uh, guiding this creativity is your intuition, but your thoughts think that it's doing it because maybe they're choosing the colour or, you know, whatever, if you're painting or something, right? So, yeah. Anyway, okay. But, yeah, definitely, there's definitely a sure sign of a new beginning here. Okay, so we've got growth here. What else have we got? See, oh, let me just shuffle. I feel like I need to keep shuffling for some reason. And I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay, so we've got growth and hydrate. Okay, so um, oh, this is all tying into the same thing of this nurturing here. The nurturing is going to help you grow. It's going to help you grow. Um, it's it's a bit like a, a flower that needs the sun to help it grow because the sun is behind this person here. Is it the sun? Looks like the sun to me. Or a really bright moon, but I see it as the sun. The sun is required also to dry out the butterfly's wings so that the butterfly can fly. Because when a butterfly actually comes out of its chrysalis, out of the chrysalis stage and out of the cocoon, it, um, it can't fly immediately. It has to allow its wings to dry. And it kind of flaps them a bit and gets the strength up, helps to dry them and... Um, and gets used to this new position, right? Because what it has transformed from is significantly different to what it has transformed into. And I feel like this is actually happening for you. Because if we look at this one here, it's like she's huddled up, ready to form this cocoon around her so that she can transform. Yes. And I feel like this very well be is it is this is I'm trying to get my words out here Aquarius this is a good analogy for what is taking place for you right now because this is all part of your growth so when you I feel like Aquarius when you shower yourself with warmth when you nurture yourself and and give yourself the love and the tenderness that you require that's when you grow the best when you listen to your mind pouring at you with self-doubt negative thoughts you can't do this imposter syndrome type thinking your growth is then limited okay so i think it's really important for you to be aware 
of what is going on in that sense, okay? Okay, so, and also, like, really um, tapping into, especially with the creativity here, like, tapping into things that you wouldn't normally tap into, okay? Because, um, you know, some of you may think it's all hocus-pocus or um, that, you know, it's a bit ridiculous um, what it is that you're trying to create or what is coming through, okay? But I think it's very important for you to have an open mind so that the growth can actually happen here, okay? Because through the growth appears the master, the master which is within you. This master is... How would I say this? It's like you grow into the master, but the master is already in you. So you sort of, we've also got flowering here and we have healing. Healing. <laughs> healing, but I'm not going to show it to you. I, that's funny though, you know, some of you may be ignoring some of the healing that you need to do, which is stopping you from flourishing into the master, okay, and the master is um, is already there, it's not like you find this master within, it's actually that you reveal the master within, Okay, and doing this this creativity card here, it's sort of like giving you that master permission to reveal itself. Okay, because you are the master of your own existence. And you really don't need to try to be that way. Similar to how the the um, the butterfly just naturally transforms, and there's nothing that needs to be forced. I was reading the other day about how if a if a butterfly is cut out of its cocoon too soon, it loses its ability to fly, and I feel like this is the case for you, Aquarius. I feel like. Because of your mind being so active, you can sometimes be a little bit impatient for things to actually transpire. But I feel like it's very important for you to let things happen naturally because, you know, this, this sense within you is this primary system within you. This master is a natural essence of your being so forcing something isn't going to help it it's about becoming creative to let it be exposed in a natural sense okay we have hydrate here so for some of you drinking water is crucially important because um, this helps clear the ways, it helps clear your mind, it helps clear the toxins out of your body, um, you know, it, it helps to clear the murky waters, okay, and um, there's also something about a ripple effect here, I feel that this um, hydrating it's not just about drinking enough water to um for the sake of drinking water there's so much more to it than that and i feel like this could also assist you in any physical healing that you may need okay but i'll tell you when i started drinking the right quota of water that i needed per day man it made a difference to how clear um, my my mind was things weren't so muddled, you know. Um, I was be I, I was able to become a much more clear channel uh, to get information through. So this is very important for you. Okay, so tell me more about hydrate for Aquarius, please. I don't know what that card is yet. It's upside down, but that's okay. Next card for Hydrate for Aquarius, please. Oh, 
here it is. So the first card here, yes, new vision, new vision. So hydrating is going to help you bring about this new vision and this ties in with this creativity here and also the flowering as well. These cards I feel like are just, a, a, there's the same energy in here, okay, and, um, and I just feel like this is going to help you expand in such a way that you will even be quite surprised yourself. Aquarius as to how much benefit that you will get from this okay the hydration I also feel like is part of this nurturing okay it's like it's like watering a plant and allowing the the seedling to grow into this almighty flower that um it can grow into there's for some reason an energy about you holding yourself back um could be lifestyle um it could be the thinking that is going on for you um there's something within you that prevents you from flourishing to the degree that you could flourish so you'll know what that is okay and um i want to say that to, to, you know, this this person here has grown up from the roots of the earth. And it's sort of like you can see here, there's someone who has, is down on the ground and, and kind of can't stretch up and grow. And I just wonder if this is what this hydration is representative of. To allow yourself to stretch out of the limits um, that you place upon yourself potentially through this mindset here okay um yes rise up and see all the possibilities that are available to you because there is a, a, a world of options that you have okay um it may feel like you don't have many options this is the thing you may feel so bogged down that um you don't feel like you can rise up but it's very important to you for you to have a bird's eye view and um, see things from a different perspective, okay? So, yes. Uh, next card for Aquarius, please. There's something here that I feel you're holding back on, Aquarius. What is that about? Fear, maybe? Lack of self-belief. Next card for Aquarius, please. Mm, Aquarius. Maybe you're afraid of growing. Maybe you don't feel like you can. Okay, we've got two cards flip out here. Control. Oh, okay. Control. Is this you controlling or being controlled? <sighs> this could be your thoughts controlling you, actually. It's either that you're being controlled or your thoughts are controlling you. You're being controlled by your thoughts. Um, the other thing I'm getting from this Aquarius is that there could be some people around you who you, who are um, giving you the impression that you're part of their flock and they're happy for you to fly with them, but they're, they're actually holding you down. And they're, they're preventing you from rising to the heights that you could rise to. And they've sort of made it look so appealing and they kind of like um, may very well um, speak to you in a way that makes you feel like you're the cream of the crop. crop. But um, in fact, it's all an illusion. Uh, this could also be something that you're doing to yourself. You're putting a mask on to make yourself believe that you're part of a flock 
which you don't belong to. And deep down, you know you can feel that, but you just want so badly to belong because to break out of that is scary for you. Yeah, see? Look at this guidance here. This, there's, there's guidance that you have been offered that you've refused potentially for some of you. Um, which can lead to your growth. So I would say if you are being offered guidance to accept that, okay? Not this kind of guidance that's going to hold you down, but guidance that is going to help you flourish, okay? Guidance that will um, encourage this creativity. Guidance that will allow you to step out of the box and see all the possibilities that are available to you. You may, some of you might be well um, worth going to a life coach and getting some guidance from them maybe. And we have rebirth here. I love this. I love this. You know, this is the ending of, of who you were or perceived yourself to be and actually letting the music within you be heard. Allowing the music that lies within you to be sung or played. Okay? Not, not allowing the control to hold you down anymore. Not allowing your mind to control you, not allowing other people to control you, not allowing yourself to be controlled. And that's not to blame you for anything that other people do at all. Um, but sometimes we can control ourselves with our own mind because we believe that's what we should be doing or what if it is, is expected of us or whatever. So sometimes we, you've heard the saying, we can be our own worst enemy, right? Um, but yeah. Um, the next card we have here is Hidden Blessings. Yeah. See, as you stretch, stretch out of this box and start to allow this creativity to come out, you're going to find these hidden blessings within you that you didn't know existed. Okay. And um, I feel like you're going to discover things about yourself that you are quite um, you're thrilled to discover. I think it's sort of like you are a jewellery box and you're opening the jewellery box to discover all these hidden gems inside of you and you're going to be smitten over yourself. Not in a really stuck up way, but in a way that's like, oh my gosh, look at all these things inside of me. I didn't know they were there. Wow. Things that have been hidden, things that have been hidden from other people projecting their own stuff onto you, okay, and not allowing, like, actually sneakily, Aquarius, there's, for some of you, there are people around you who do not have your best interests at heart at all, and they are quite happily holding you down, keeping you from finding these hidden blessings. Whether these hidden blessings be within you or outside of you, out in the world, when you step out into the world to discover what's out there, there may be these hidden blessings out there. But these people have kept you down. They don't want you to see, they don't want you, they don't want to see you explore that. I can't even get it out. Like, that's how much power they have, right? But it's only an illusion. Their power is an illusion, you know, and um, to them and to, and to us, right? So, yeah. Okay, last card for Aquarius, please. I really feel like there's quite a, um, with this MasterCard coming up here especially, you are, you're pretty special, right? I swear this came up in your last reading. 
um, but you are pretty special and there are people who can see that and they can see this this glow within you this this sort of glimmering or this glittering glow that they want to keep down they want to dim your light and I'm saying to you Aquarius don't allow anyone to ever dim your light okay ever including your own mind Positive-minded people. Now, these are the people you want to surround yourself with. These are the people who won't will, will help you with this, will help you sort through this. These are the people that will lead by example. You know, the ones that encourage you to, to express your creativity so that you can flourish and you can step outside of this box, okay? Um, these are the people who are there to give you guidance, okay? Um, and I also want to say about this is positive-hearted people, right? Because these are the ones who hold your best interests in their heart. Because they want to see you grow. They want to see you flourish. They want to see you flower and transform. And they want to help you reach the heights that you can fly to because that's what they want for you it's nothing to do with them it's about you you know and it's all done in a really positive and healthy way you know there's no codependency there's no people pleasing nothing along those lines it's all for the good and um yeah, this is to help you grow. Okay, so positive-minded people. Tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. One more card for positive-minded people. Thank you. Change. Yep. The wind of change is in the air. Yep. And... This is going to, this change is going to bring about, um, be brought about by people supporting you, by people holding you up, okay, um, and accept that help, help Aquarius, because I feel as though um, there might be some of you who don't want to, because you feel like you should do it on your own, or that you've been burned before, but um in regards to this, I feel as though this is where your intuition is going to help you and use that as that guidance system to feel out who feels good and who doesn't. Every single thing that you do, every interaction you have, okay, feel it out rather than think it out because that's going to be what guides you through this journey, through this new beginning in your life. And... Um, it's going to allow this change to be a lot smoother and more transformative. Okay, so this is something that I think will absolutely benefit you and it will also help you to vibrate out a certain frequency which will attract these like-minded like people or positive-minded people into your life. Okay, because when you're vibing out negativity this is what you will get back when you're vibing out positivity that's what will come to you okay so yeah um i just want to go over this card again here aquarius dearest you if you allow your awareness to settle in you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you you will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings. 
spirit infuses all things and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agreed to play. Today, trust your spidey sense. Read between the lines. Tune in to the stories behind the stories and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we are right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. Trust your intuition. This invisible knowing that you can't see, but you can feel. Okay, Aquarius, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.